Hi, I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and this video will explore why Miles Davis has the best advice when it comes to playing heartfelt blues guitar solos. And if you tried playing blues guitar solos yourself, you probably found yourself somewhere in between playing scales and playing the solos that you wanted like the great guitarists and sounding like them but Miles Davis has great advice in this matter and we will explore how to apply it on the guitar also in this very video and he told that it's not about the notes you play so it's about the notes you don't play not about the notes you do play so what does this mean and how can can this improve your guitar solos so let's say you're playing in the scale of E minor pentatonic. A lot of people improvise solos using the scale pattern, which is good thing. So it's good that we learn the patterns. It's good that we try to improvise using the, those patterns. It's good that our fingers with practice and repetition and using the muscle memory become acquainted with running through those patterns. What is a limitation, however, is that our fingers become so acquainted with those patterns that we use those patterns in our guitar improvisation as well, and we tend to run through the same things all over again. But when we apply the Miles Davis wisdom, the quote, that it's not about the notes you play, it's about the notes you don't play, then it becomes easier to play great sounding licks, melodies, to play heartfelt blues guitar parts. I'll give you an example, for instance, if you play the scale here. Instead of improvising with all of those notes, you can just take a couple of notes and then think about the notes you don't play. And instead of playing something like this, we can, for example, just play. So it becomes about cutting out notes in your blues guitar solo. So instead of playing the whole lick I uh, first played, I just cut it in half and I played the first part because think about Miles Davis, it's about the notes you don't play. Those are the important ones to think about, the ones you cut from the equation. And I'll give you another example. Uh, we can even go further with this line of thinking. So I cut it half of the lick because it's about those notes you don't play and giving room in your guitar solos by cutting notes but we can even go further and instead of playing like the first half we can even cut notes from this further we can play a lick like so now the lick becomes even more tensionful in a way it becomes more mysterious it becomes more unique so if you compare it to the first lick this is still a great lick but at times especially if you want to play heartfelt blues solos we need to use the space in between the licks. So a great way is to think about Miles Davis code and to cut the notes, to cut notes from our licks and then to leave the space there. So it's about the notes you don't play. And if you go further and further in this exercise, you will find yourself playing tiny bits and fragments of scales and, and licks you normally play, but the whole will sound better probably than if you just let your fingers run through all the patterns you already know and all the licks you play all of the time so your guitar solos sound more unique sound more meaningful more tensionful because of this exercise once you do this exercise and you go through this it will improve for a lot of solos so 
this is a great one to go through and let me know in the comments when you tried this exercise what the result was if you were happy with the result or not just drop it like it is in the comment section so if you want to go deeper into all of this and want to play better sounding blues guitar solos i have a free downloadable guide on my website called the how to play more advanced blues guitar solos guide it's uh, on bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com so you can download this i get tablature and then scale diagrams in this guide to move your guitar solos further and if you're really serious about becoming a good blues guitarist i have the master blues guitar lessons program which can also be found at bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com in this program i start out with a little questionnaire so i get to know your playing level your goals on the guitar frustrations and so on and then i build out a program specifically for your playing level to get you from where you are now to the mastery of blues guitar playing so we build on rhythm guitar lead guitar playing phrasing like we did now in the miles davis thing um, we build on many many different things scales chords and so on so you become a more complete blues guitar so we can find this in the in the master blues guitar lessons program on the website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com